Hello everyone. I am currently in Jefferson City. I have been doing some research on what to do next. Um, Jefferson City was a fun, uh, fun city, very history oriented. So if you really, really like history, this is the place for you. Um, but it's only like a day's worth of stuff. So now I'm going to head somewhere else. Um, and if you haven't watched that vlog, make sure you check it out. But so now I'm headed to St. Charles, which is kind of merged in together with St. Louis. So when I was in Jefferson City at the hotel, I saw this pamphlet about St. Charles, this historic, like this historic little town. And I looked it up and it looks really, really neat. Um, like I said, it's connected to St. Louis and it's free. I mean, I just, I really wanna explore the area and it's a really nice day. It is hot out, but hey, that's what you put your hair up for. So I'm gonna head to St. Charles. It's a two hour drive, not bad at all. And then I haven't really decided where I'm gonna stay yet tonight, which is terrible, but Anyway, so I'm going to head to St. Charles and excited to see what is there. Okay, so I decided to stop in this small town called Kingdom City. I kept seeing it like on the way to Jefferson City and I was like, okay, let me see what there is to do here. They have this firefighters memorial mu museum and then they have stuff outside. So I'm just going to look at the outside. Um, it's a memorial for all the firefighters. I'm not sure if it's like specific ones for specific reasons, but, and then also on the way to Jefferson City, I kept seeing like Ozark land, Ozark land, uh, fudge, fudge, gift shop. I'm like, oh my gosh. So I saw another one and I'm going to have to go in. So we're going to make two quick stops before we get to our next destination. in honor of all the firefighters here in Missouri. They have it broken up by district and to all those who have sacrificed, you know, with their jobs. I think that's pretty cool. And a little just something to stop by as you're come like coming through, going from Jefferson City to St. Louis. Here it is. Y'all, I saw so many signs for this on the way here. Finally. Gosh, they have so much here from toys to just little souvenirs. Okay, I decided not to get anything just because what if there's something I want in my next destination? And that's the thing with traveling is you pick and choose what you want just, you know, because I'm saving money, you know? What if there's something else that's way better in the next destination? So it has a bunch of taffy, uh, lots of different fudges, lots of different candies. So if you want to stretch your legs, stretch your legs in kingdom city this huge ozark land store is here and lots of goodies inside so now to get back on the road okay i made it put my hair up because it is i like how 93 outside good heavens chose the wrong day to go walk around oh well I was looking down the street and it's literally all bricks. I am in love. I cannot wait. I'm so excited. I saw this pamphlet at the Jefferson City. And I mean, the motel, hotel I stayed at in Jefferson City. I was just seeing like what they had. Because I've done a, a lot of research in the St. Louis area. So I'm in St. Charles. So excited. It's this historic just road of stuff. So excited. Outside, but it was fun. Um, across the street is Frontier Park, which obviously that would be a lot nicer to do during like the morning or evening. But 
Um, beautiful area. I loved it. I loved walking down and in and out of the shops. I wish they had a gluten-free bakery, but they didn't, sadly. So now I'm going to find myself a hotel, get there, and then decide what I'm going to do. Okay, after sitting here for, I think, at least 20 minutes, yeah, I finally decided on a hotel. I looked on booking, and it was kind of the same like in Jefferson City. Like, it was like either $70, $70 ones, which were kind of like, ooh, kind of sketchy ones, or they were just automatically then going 100 and up, like no in between. So I looked on my Marriott to see what was available. Oh, there's a wedding. Sorry, I got distracted. <laughs> um, uh, so uh, I got on my Marriott, found a room for 120 last minute tonight, and that's how much they were ranging. Like I was looking before, like a couple of days before, um, coming here and they were the exact same price. So I didn't, you know, I guess lose any money. Yeah. You know, or like, Oh, I could have booked sooner and would have gotten cheaper. No. And my goal was to stay on the, on the Missouri side, not on the, excuse me, on Illinois. Like there were, there were hotels, they were showing me hotels on the border, over the border to Illinois. So I was like, no, I want to stay in St. Louis, Missouri. So I'm going to head there and get all my stuff in, kind of freshen up. I'm a little hot. It's been a whew, hot day. So anyway, I'm going to head to the hotel and then probably grab some dinner. I don't know. I checked in and they only have grab and go breakfast here which is okay one of the things I saw was the pool and I really wanted to do the pool but uh yeah it's closed so oh well um what was I gonna say oh yes also St. Louis mask mandate is back up she's like I don't know if you're aware but the mask mandate is back I'm like oh well I don't have any mask on me yeah so she gave me one. She's like, for a one time, for since you didn't know, but usually you had to purchase these. So I'm like, seriously, purchase a paper mask. Okay. Anyway, loving this room. I have a balcony. Let me show you all. Walk in, closet. I like that the sink is separate. I always like that. Shower. And then. I, I don't know how I feel. The bed usually faces this way, but it's facing that way toward outside. Couch, TV, and then here's my balcony. Yay! Uh, I mean, not a, like a gorgeous view, but hey, it's something. So now I'm gonna sit and contemplate on what I should do. <laughs> I mean, I'm by myself. I'm not in a rush, so just take it easy. sitting and contemplating forever I decided to get Mexican I ordered online at a place called Chevy's it's supposed to be pretty good so I got a chicken oh chicken tostada salad so I'm gonna get that and also their fitness room is open but not the pool but I mean something could be wrong I guess with the pool so anyway going to get some dinner y'all this looks so good there's the salsa for the chips Woo! here we go yum yum y'all that was pretty good i mean it wasn't like over above and beyond like wow that was spectacular um their salsa i love um their chips they weren't salty but they were nice and thin and crispy and the salad was pretty good i wish it came with a little more dressing because it hardly had any but overall excellent excellent so the link for this restaurant will be down below now i'm going to go to a sculpture park um i think it's about 10 minutes away but a lot of people said it's really nice to walk around at night it's all kind of well it's not really night but it's cooler so i'm gonna go to a sculpture park okay i made it sorry i didn't get any video of like the drive but the sun was like right in like in the front at all times and i was like yeah it's not gonna happen so this is called lumiere sculpture park and they also have a museum on the inside, but 
closed now. So that's okay. We're gonna enjoy the outside sculptures. <laughs> I guess I'm not gonna appreciate it as much as art people would. <laughs> Some things I look at it and I'm like, what? I, I don't understand. <laughs> anyway, so I'm gonna go back now to my hotel, just chill. I was really tired before I ate. So I'm definitely more tired. I think I just walked around for at least a good 20 minutes. So that's good. Probably other walking around. So I'm just gonna end it here. Um, and I guess by the time you watch this, I'll decide whether to end the vlog here or see you in the morning. But thank you again for watching. <laughs>